Hey folks, welcome to the show. Steve Ryan from Windows Outdoors, and I'm hooked up with a big fish for, uh, for today's show. We're up here in northern Saskatchewan. We're guests of the Lumpke family at Wollaston Lake Lodge in northern Saskatchewan. And this is what we're after, real big pike. Check out that girl. Uh, swing her right in. Big fish. Really nice fish. Try not to do any damage to these fish's fins or tails. Now that's a beauty, real thick pike. And for today's show, we're gonna show you how to catch these fish. We'll show you our gear, the tactics, what type of water we're fishing, so you can come up here to Northern Saskatchewan, catch fish like that. That's really a beauty. So this is the type of gear we're using. We've got a Revo Toro high-speed reel here that we're fishing with a spinner. We can burn that across the top of the weeds. And here's the cabbage. This is what we're fishing. This is a classic summer pattern. We're up here in uh, mid-July. The weeds are, are up. We're fishing deep cabbage preferably. So something between five foot of water and maybe 10 or 12 feet. And that really depends on how clear the water is. We've got this Abu Villain rod. It's got tons of backbone. This is a, uh, a high powered rod here. Heavy action, got a fluorocarbon leader on here. This is a, uh, a Berkeley leader with a good cross snap swivel. This is critical. You don't want to come up here with cheap snaps. They'll open them up and you lose those fish. And then this is just your classic. This is actually a, a 500 series Booker tail spinner, but we're getting them on plain maps. That's what that first one came on. If you get a fish that follows up, this is a, a rib shad made by Berkeley, just on a, uh, a Berkeley jig head with a heavy duty hook. If you look at that, it's got a good gauge hook. This will hold up to big pike. And on this one, I've got a steel leader. So this is a multi-strand steel leader. So either go fluorocarbon or steel, but once again, with a good snap. And this is just like, you know, here they see a big meal coming at them, they won't take it. But if you got this little cookie and you just throw it back, who can resist? And you know, they'll just gobble that right up. Fish, fish. That water is so dark. We're, uh, we're constantly changing up colors, which is important. We've got a day that's started off really cloudy. And now we got peaks of sun. So different colors perform better based upon sun or clouds. Lots of times in the sun, we like those metallic colors, give more reflection. There he is, nice fish. And then the uh, bright colors, the oranges and the yellows, when it gets cloudy. Let's see, and once again, a dead giveaway. Where we caught her? She's trailing some uh, weeds right in her mouth. When you come up here, up to Northern Saskatchewan, make sure you come up with heavy enough gear. There you get to see her. Oh, another thick fish. Look at that. And like I said, she's trailing a bunch of that cabbage. Just what we're looking for. And the thing is, you'd like to find some thick cabbage, but you're not necessarily fishing right in the middle of it. What you want is to find those lanes, those little openings. So always important, keep that tension once again. But look at that fish. What a fatty. Just in perfect shape. Not marked up at all, really thick across the back, if you see that. But yeah, great fish, we're gonna get her back. Here we're, uh, yes, here we're fishing these spinners today for uh, these pike. And what you gotta be mindful of is you're gonna go through weeds all the time. So. Uh, it's obvious when you got hanging weeds behind there to clear it off. But another important part is on the clevis of these spinners, as soon as you just get this little bit of grass and it'll, uh, it basically tangles the action of that spinner. So each time, make sure that's clear. And like I said, this one's more obvious, but it only takes a little bit. Josh, I think we've got our going to dinner fish. <laughs> I think this one's gonna wrap up our day. Right on. That's a good fish. Look how broad that fish is. Yeah, and this one came on a soft plastic, actually like a little swim bait. Tori, this one's actually a seismic. 
Oh, one more run, eh? Mm-hmm. Powerful fish. Just that single hook with that jig. Look at that. Nice, nice. going, Josh. Nice. And that hook right in the corner. Just beautifully done. Cool. This should do it. This will wrap up the day. Hey. Right on. Thanks a lot, Josh. I want to thank Josh, our guide, for putting us in all these great fish, along with Wilson Lake Lodge, all the staff there. First class operation, uh, just like a bunch of camps up here in uh, northern Saskatchewan. Uh, I'd like to also thank Saskatchewan Tourism. Like I said, just a great place to visit. Put this on your must-do list. Fishing's just outstanding. Whether you're a hardcore angler or a novice or want to introduce somebody to fishing, this is the place to do it. Get up to Saskatchewan, catch fish like this.